prosthetic materials have been in, in prosthetic devices such, such as artificial arms, legs, uh, whatever, have been made out of uh, things like metals and plastics and other things that are uh, not, uh, you know, that are artificially made. They're not a natural component of your body. And they're used primarily for structural support. In other words, if you break your bones and you need uh, a little bit of scaffolding support until the body heals itself um, so that um, you, you can still walk around or you can still use your arms, uh, the prosthetic materials are used to uh, are, are used to provide that kind of structural support. Um, now, where where things are going is uh, the use of these kinds of prosthetic materials, but also with uh, a multitude of enhanced biological features. Uh, and I'll give a couple of examples. So you can have a plastic device that's put in your body, but the plastic itself is, uh, is an active material. In other words, it, it responds to the local environment, it responds to the needs of the body, uh, and, and uh, uh, changes its structure uh, to, uh, to best adapt to that, to that local environment. So you can have uh, prosthetic material that is used in orthopedic implants, say, to uh, support uh, a broken bone, but that material itself has properties. It may have embedded growth factors. It may have other, um, other biological elements that actually allow it to accelerate or enhance healing in, in, in some fairly major capacity. So, so instead of, uh, 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 instead of the conventional kind of scenario where you may have a splint uh, for a bone and, and uh, when you break your bone and that takes maybe six weeks uh, to heal, you may have um, in the future, one of these prosthetic um, implants put, uh, put inside your bone, which um, uh, accelerates healing by, say, uh, you know, and, and allows the bone to heal in, say, a matter of hours uh, rather than weeks. Um, and then after uh, the bone has reformed and healed, the material also has uh, or could have properties whereby it uh, degrades and actually disappears automatically so that uh, the, the surgeon doesn't have to go back in there and, and pull anything out. So, so they put they put something in there. It has um, it has all these features. It enhances healing. You you break your bones. Uh, you go into the hospital. Perhaps you get this thing put in there um, in the morning, and then you come back in the in the evening, and your bones are actually all stitched together, and it's fine. So, so that's kind of where the field of uh, regenerative medicine is is moving. Uh, to really the blurring between the, the artificial kinds of materials that are used and the biological materials.